probably start this off by clearing up uh, the last episode's title. I'm not making an adventure map. Kind of a play on words, I guess. So, yeah, this isn't a map making series. It's just normal survival series on Reflex server. Uh, map for, or a uh, server for Minecraft conceptors and inventors. Episode 2 of on the reflex server. Oh, don't I, don't I, don't I? Yes. I really should just get rid of these ladders and keep it so it's just the water. It's the water that's protecting me. And I, there is the chance to fall on top of the ladders. Uh, right now, I have 32 levels and uh, enough of these bookcases. Fortune 2, not quite what I want, but that's why I got a little bit more than fortune, uh, than 30 levels. Let's see if I put one of these in. Wow, efficiency 2 for one level, that's pretty nice. Okay, so now when I put this in, and the three levels, I'm breaking three. Could give me a work pick, but I really want either a silk touch pick or a uh, fortune. So let's do one more of these. Efficiency one, yes, that's fine. Come on. I'm breaking three. Hmm, do I go for it? Could just try. If I do that, it will still be. Uh, it will only take three levels off of me, so it won't take too long. Okay, fine, I did it. Silk touch! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes! Nice. Quite a gamble. So, it's not always a, uh, the lack of gambling with the fortune thing, so you still kind of get one or might end up getting some bad. Like, this could have just not had the silk touch on it at all, and that would have been awful. Let's see, which level has the diamonds on it? Is it this one? I think it's actually one lower. This one? I think. Yes! There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, in the choice hole. Mm, don't need that. Just, ah, yes, the diamonds are back here. Excellent. So seven silk touch diamonds. Uh, I'll check to see if anybody has a fortune pick on, or I don't know. I really want my own fortune pick, but so I'll just keep these diamonds and save them in here, I guess. Maybe build a house out of them. <laughs> That'd be crazy. All right. So three pieces in there. Put that in there. Fortune three. Fortune 3, efficiency 4. No, I'm breaking, but hey, yeah, as long as I only use it on good things. Sure. So yeah, I've got my Fortune 3 now. Let's let's get these diamonds. These lovely, jubbly diamonds first. Diamonds. Oh, oh, 14, doubled it.
Now the puppy. Yes. Now I'm upset. <laughs> Full diamond armor. Diamond sword. <sighs> Silk touch. Diamond fist. Obsidian. That fifth death, fourth death. <sighs> Guess I better get back to strip mining. Death number six, is it? Uh, thankfully, I was able to. I was mining redstone, fell in, there was lava underneath. Thankfully, I was able to stack jump my way out since I didn't have a water bucket on my hotbar. Yeah, so the diamonds and emeralds are safe. Oh yeah, um, I'm building the nether hub. I uh, went back to the world spawn, which is like right in that river pool, I think. And so I'm going to make like a kind of four-way portal and then in the nether do kind of the same thing in this area. I'm breaking three. Oop, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Another completely I'm breaking through. Oh, actually that's good because I do want to repair this. And if I name it, hmm. there we go. That will cost nine levels. Lovely. All right, I have found two veins of diamonds and I've got my special pickaxe. I've just been surviving off of a, uh, what's it called, rotten flesh. So I got one extra out of that. Oh, get some lapis while I'm here. Ooh, dang, that was a lot. So I got four now, and then. So that gave me, oh, that gave me 11 just then out of five things, so that was a little bit more than double. Sweet. Thanks, fortune pick. Found some more stuff. So this is the fortune, I guess. Ooh, sweet. Three emeralds from there. Uh, okay, there's no lava behind here. And one emerald from that. But, also, something really weird, I just accidentally was mining down here. I don't even know why, but there's uh, diamonds at level four, which is the weirdest thing. I didn't know that. I mean, look, there's bedrock right there. That's crazy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it's a good one too. Oh, so that was eight turned into seventeen. Woohoo! Is one more than double. It's very nice. So that means I've got like thirty-two diamonds again. <laughs> Let's hope this time I don't uh, just spend it all on diamond armor and then fall in lava again. So I've been here at Xylus's uh, skeleton farm, which is um, pretty bad, honestly. It only drops them down like, what is this, 10 blocks or so. So you have to hit them like three times, even with stone uh, swords. So it's not the best, but. Mm, I mean, it works, I guess. just takes quite a while. The reason is, is because it goes down a bedrock layer. But, I mean, Silas, if you're watching this, just use the water elevator. Go move them up far enough, and then so they drop 23 blocks. Or is it 22 blocks? 23 blocks kills them instantly, I think. So 22 blocks. 
Um, so yeah, so now I have enough XP that I can uh, do like how many level 3 enchants? Or level 3 equal to level 30 enchants. Uh, let's find out. <laughs> unbreaking 3. Do I want an unbreaking 3 diamond sword? I don't think so. I should probably make armor, but this time don't wear it, like, as soon as I finish building it. Ooh, I should make boots. Alright, let's try these boots. So I'm breaking three as well. If it was, like, these, I'd be, ah, that's thorns too. I don't know if I really want thorns too on me. Breaking three pants is like, yeah, that's good pants. Good pants to have. Is it time sword? I'm breaking three again for sure. Hmm. Do I want? I mean, I'm breaking three on a diamond sword. I mean, you won't have to build another sword again. So I've got three more 30, le level 30 enchants that I can do. Do I want to do that? Or these? Or. Yeah, let's see if I can get Feather Falling yet. Projectile Protection 4. Hmm. That's nah, not quite what I want. What's this? Projectile or Protection 3. That's okay, I guess. Oh, it's just Protection 3. I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Sharpness 4. Okay, fine. It's just Sharpness 4. Lame. I'm breaking three boots. Projectile protection, I'm breaking three. Like, none of these are what I want. I can do one more. I guess I can do it for this. Efficiency four. Look! What a bunch of. Okay, the pants were good. Everything else sucked. These are okay, but not feather falling. I really should start making my actual house slash base, since right now I just live in a hole in the ground, which takes forever to climb up and down. Well, <laughs> it's instantaneous jumping down, but climbing back up, I really need to get an ender and farm so that we can ender pearl up and stuff. But yeah, this is a oh, good sword for now, until I get unbreaking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, strength. Strength with a sharpness for thing. <laughs> Alright, time to start building my actual base. I have a idea that I kind of want to do. Hopefully it'll turn out good, but all that you need to know right now is it's a tower made of netherrack, or nether brick on top of this mountain. was in the nether and fell. Ah, oh, no, Speedy Gonzales. My efficiency for an iron pick. Dang it. What else did I have? My sharpness for a diamond sword. Oh, no, I completely just burr. There wasn't a hole in the nether roof thing that I had before that I know of. Look at him. He's such a silly creeper. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's the tower so far. Ooh. Found a fortress that I had thought that other people had already found since it wasn't too far away. Might as well get this stuff and break the chest so that people won't get false hope. And hopefully find some uh, other goodies. Ooh, like that guy. shots with just power one. Oh yeah, got my first wither skull. So, I 
got a whole bunch of uh, nether brick from the fortress, so I will continue on with my tower. So I stopped by uh, Xylus's place because he had these, and I made myself some of these fancy splash potions of fire resistance, so that I can uh, build a wither skeleton farm. Uh, like, just in case I fall in the lava and stuff. And, what is that, death number 10 now? Let's see. 11. Death number 11, fireballed by a blaze. Uh, I'm building, ooh, the wither farm. And, oh, and, uh, there's so many blazes that keep on spawning in it. I don't know, I think I mentioned starting building a wither farm. It seems to be working pretty well. It's not technically a farm where it automatically kills the, the wither skeletons. But, you know, does it kind of. So, I spent quite a bit of time at the Xylus's skeleton farm and got 52 levels. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, I get something good. So, I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, I got. I fixed up some of my armor for my fans. I got. did some level 30 looking chairs, like I see, 14 tree. I'm thinking I can probably sell this to one of the other people that don't have fortune yet. Fortune's four. Uh, these. This one was actually two level ones put together. Uh, fix that up some. Get more level ones. I got this. I was using that to get coal for more levels. I need to fix up this probably. 124 uses yet though. Oh yeah, I got this sword, which is pretty nice. Um, didn't get to use a uh, level 30 enchant this yet because I couldn't find a silk touch anywhere, which is kind of what I've been wanting it for. Either that or I might just stick the efficiency 5 on it, of course. Then I can't get silk touch on it. Unless I so get a silk touch book, which is pretty rare. But really, a silk touch book would be nice for me. Cheers. <sighs> this farm really seems like it's working pretty dang well. I, th I think the main reason for it is because ah, oh, no, 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 is because this fortress is inside the lava, so there's not really many places nearby. I mean, sure, mobs can spawn there, but no nowhere real near the players that they can spawn except for on the fortress and since I have these platforms all out there's many many places for them to spawn so yeah this is one completed spawning platform I suppose and then what it was is one of these intersections like four-way intersections and I just uh, made it into three layers like uh, this is the middle layer and then they can also spawn on top of here see these two blocks that's these are, this is a line of where play the mobs can spawn plus down a couple blocks. And in this intersection they can spawn even out here some, since it's an intersection I guess. It's in a whole cuboid region. Uh, I got the places for where the where they can spawn from a video by Capo. I, th I think he's part of the uh, zip crowd of the link below. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of blazes and wither skeletons that are spawning. And there's another intersection over there that I'm going to be building another thing for. And it's right next to a blaze farm, so it's been kind of hard though. Uh, get back here. Yeah. Yeah, they're everywhere. So yeah, that is episode 2 on the Reflex server. Making some pretty good headway with this tower here. I've got a bunch more uh, netherrack smelting. And also making quite the headway with the wither skeleton farm. It's working out quite nicely. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have... Um, I have... I have three wither skeleton souls. Yay! So I think we're going to do a kind of thing all together, um, killing the, our first wither. Uh, right now I'm just kind of waiting for other people to 
build up their gear a little bit better because they, d they haven't been playing on this as much or they haven't, I don't know, they've been doing other stuff, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, hopefully, I don't know, if next episode, probably next episode I'll finish the Wither Skeleton Farm and possibly we'll have, uh, we'll be fighting the Wither, the Wither Boss. Thank <laughs> you.